Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Today on the agenda, we have Ethel's birthday, which is, well, the day. Uh, I guess I should say for this episode we have on the agenda. <gasps> oh my goodness! Wait, wait, hold on. Is it This is Espeon, right? Espeon is all grown up. Yes! <gasps> well, how about that? I'm so glad. Anyway, um... Yes, so, uh, for this episode, we ha- Wait, and that means- Yes! Our- our Jersey cows are grown up, too! Huzzah! We'll be able to harvest good milk today. Anyway, that was completely unplanned. Um, but yes, Ethel's birthday is today, uh, the bazaar is tomorrow, and then Daisy's birthday is the day after. Now, here's the problem, uh, well- we know what Daisy, what Daisy's favorite dish is, but we don't actually have the means to create it because we need butter and we don't have any oil in, in, in storage. And so we can't make butter and it's been so very long since Chen has sold oil. Also forgot to feed our pets last night. Whoops. Anyway, and so... What I would like to do is tomorrow at the bazaar, I would like to try and get oil, and if Chen has it, then rush right back to the um, to the farm and start uh, start some butter going. And hopefully, I don't know how long butter takes, but hopefully it will be done before um, before the bazaar ends, and that way we can come back to the farm, make a strawberry pie and go get it wrapped. Uh, but the wrapping is the the least of, the, of, of what would get us uh, friendship points, not that we need any, but anyway, the wrapping is, is not as important as giving them something that they really like. So if Chen does sell oil and we can't, and there isn't a way for us to, uh, um, for us to get the strawberry pie made in time, then we'll just give the strawberry pie unwrapped. All right, so I think this should be the last set of turnips that we actually need to plant. And we're gonna wanna reserve them for our seed crop. But yeah, that's something to keep in mind is that, as I said before, as I said last episode, we had 69 turnip seeds and that was not enough to carry us through the spring. We'd need uh, three more, and then however many we want to keep as our seed crop. So, again, just something to keep in mind. So I'd probably want to go with, at minimum, 80 in the future. Anyway. Yeah, we got a busy morning of harvesting today, but I think we're good now. Once this cauliflower is done, I don't think we'll actually need much more than what's already planted here. I was thinking we could replace it with uh, with some carrots and maybe some spinach, and I don't think we'll need to have the uh, the autumn crops be growing in there much longer. So, should be fine. Anyway, all of that is stuff that's going on today. So we're going to specifically brush Espeon. Espeon is the one that is the most likely to get um, to get up to a reasonable heart level before the sheep festival. So if if and we are to be getting a Suffolk sheep uh, entered in this ne in the next sheep festival, it's gonna be Espeon. And if not, well, it's not going to be any of them, so... Like, the that's the main reason why we're brushing Espeon now. Why we're taking the time out of our day to brush Espeon. And more tea! We need to remember to set aside some tea for the tea festival. Because we don't want to f- we don't want to show up empty-handed, and this will be our first year with five-star tea. So... Yeah... We really want to strut our stuff. You get good exercise on your farm? Exercise is important. But the tea festival is not until next episode, so... Good afternoon, Ray. 
you look well. Oh my, what could be inside? Oh my, a birthday present for me? Thank you, dear. This is very nice. Oh, Ethel is such a sweetie. I said it before, and I will say it again. The old ladies in Ranch Story games are such sweeties, and I absolutely love it. They're such sweethearts. Oh, apparently the necklace is done. I didn't think it would be done so quickly, to be honest. Alright, so... Let's get this green wonderful installed, and this way... Nope. What am I doing? One of these days I'll get the controls down. Okay, so we can, we've can we installed the green wonderful, and now we can make 12 batches of things with this instead of just 6. And that way we can just store all of our jewelry and all of our wool in there. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper, thanks. I'm pretty sure we've got Marion close to Max Hearts, and the same thing goes for Joan. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh my, is this for me? I am so happy, thank you. We've already had both jelly donuts and regular donuts, but I think we're gonna go with regular donuts for today. Thank you. I hope you like it. Well, I'm sure I will. After all, you made it. Mmm. Delicious. Alright, so because we've been bellying the animals, I don't think we actually need to pet them. I think it's fine to just let the bell do its its thing, and since we need to bell Espeon either way, it'll be fine. And, uh, come on. Our first good wool. Which, unfortunately, we won't be able to sell at this next week's bazaar. Not unless we want to take a major loss. But you're gonna see, um, next week... <laughs> My gosh, that's what a Suffolk sheep looks like without its wool. I don't think we want any more. I think we just want to. I think we just want to go with regular sheep. Anyway, as for the chickens, though, we are going to want to uh, stethoscope them. And then see, this is good milk, which we really want to be turning into good butter before we sell it. Um, so we're just going to keep this in storage. And if Chen sells oil this week, then that's great. If not, then... Oh, well. You lose money. You lose a small amount of money turning good milk into uh, good cheese. Very, very small amount. Um, but you make money turning it into butter. And that includes the cost of the oil, so. And apparently we can't uh, stethoscope our chickens today. Well, okay then. Because as you can see, it is five minutes to nine. I want to see how our animals are doing, how the Suffolks and Jerseys are doing. Jerseys had only three hearts, but Espeon also only had three hearts. Well, that's unfortunate. Ugh, look, that tau tree was still at 8, by the way. It's just so frustrating. If we would have gotten them as, um, as babies, then... As baby chicks, then they would already be at 10 hearts. I have a very limited amount of tea to work with here. Okay. <gasps> gold! More gold! Okay, this is the uh, the 28th, I think. The 28th? Oh my goodness. This is nutty. Our luck these past few episodes has been uh, pretty great. Um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and... I guess make a bracelet. I'm pretty sure we, I'm pretty sure we don't have any more gems for, for a necklace. I guess we can make an emerald bracelet. Hey, yeah. I mean, we could save it, just in case, but we're not really gonna get much better than this at the Super Lucky Lotto. Uh, I'm tempted to use the one and a half star, but we really should just use the three star. <gasps> is that the cauliflower? The cauliflower is done. Nice, okay. 
All right, so Chen is not selling oil this week, which means that we won't be able to give Daisy... Um... Uh, we won't be able to give Daisy um, a toy flower, which is... Or not a toy flower, a uh, um, strawberry pie, which is unfortunate. And, uh... Don't really know what's gonna be happening with our with our eggs either. Did we pick up a toy flower on the way? I don't think we did. No we did, okay. So we'll get that wrapped and give it to Daisy for her birthday. But hopefully next year we can get her a strawberry pie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Everything is just razzle frazzle today, isn't it? say today, but when am I ever not razzle-frazzled, am I right? Uh, I think we're gonna keep one of those green tea as green tea, um, and just turn the rest into matcha. And that way we will have green tea for the, uh, tea festival. And starting next year, we can start bringing specialty teas. Whoops. Oh, and I didn't put away the green tea. Ay, ay, ay. But yeah, 3,000 per, and then there's eight. We've got 18 of them. We're gonna get a nice chunk of change from that, I'll tell you that. I tell you what. And 57,600 for the necklace. And 128,000 for the pink brooch, so even if Lloyd is selling gold this week, we will be able to afford plenty of it. Pink diamond brooch! Oh, I don't have enough money for this turnip. How about for half price? I believe is the one that gets you the most. What? Really? You're so kind. Thank you. Yep. That's what gets you the most of the... Oh my goodness, please. Oh, sorry to bother you. Do you know where the carpenter is located? On the right side. Like, just, just to your right. Could you give me a deal on this asparagus? For double the price, for half price, you can have it for free. Are you sure? Thank you very much. Yep, and there goes the pink diamond brooch. Alright. Oh my goodness. Well, I was really worried that we weren't going to be able to sell everything, but it Kinda of looking like we are. Looks like you're working hard. How are things going? Not bad. Terrible. Great. They are going great, actually. That's the type of positive attitude I like to see. And we are definitely going to get first because um, the necklace is... Well, hold on. Let's put out the necklace and then I can tell you. Yeah, the necklace is going to get us over the top end of the goal. So that's nice. Matcha, yarn, turnips, potatoes. Cucumbers. Strawberries. Milk. Eggs. Freya, what do you want? Seriously, you keep coming by here. I have sold so many of, like, every possible thing, and then you're just like, nah, none of that's good. Why do you keep coming back? Do you just like watching me work? Oh, could I have one of these sea urchin? You can have it for free, you can pay double for it. No, you can't have it. You can have it for free. Really? Wow, you're the nicest person I've met in my life. Yeah. It's fine. I think we're, we've won reputation at this point, so... It looks like you're working hard, Ray. By the way, are you also keeping up with your cooking practice? Of course, I will later, Ben Busy. Can we discuss this later? I will later, Ben Busy. Oh, I see. Well, see you later then. Oh, whoops. We might have just lost reputation for that. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was the correct one, but I guess it's... Can we talk about this later? 
you gotta scold him. Looks like you're working hard, Ray. By the way, are you keeping up with your cooking practice? Okay, let's- can we discuss this later? Oh, sorry, you're working now. Where are my manners? I just can't help myself. I love cooking so much. Sorry to disturb you, Ray. Okay, yeah, so apparently you gotta scold him. And that's what- that's what he likes to hear. Is you scolding him. Hmm. Alright. And that's everything, so... Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be okay. Uh, we might not sell all of our eggs, we'll see. Matcha! Yarn! Turnips! Strawberries! Milk! Eggs! You always gotta make sure to move. To move it, move it. While you're, uh, while you're ringing your bell. There's a song like that, you know? Uh, and still no gold from Lloyd. That's okay. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100G okay? Sure. <laughs> well, this is just a rumor, really. Ethel and Joan are very close, but apparently, when they were young, they both fell in love with the same man. A lot happened, I hear, but now they're best friends. I really admire the strength of their friendship. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to Super Lucky Lotto. Would you like to play? Alright. I think we can only do this twice with uh, two sets of bronze coins. I swear I get better luck with the gold coins. Sixth place prize. Please, Lloyd, sell gold coins so I can play this the way it was meant to be played. Alright, come on. What? <gasps> we got magic water! Guys, we got magic water! Finally! Finally! Okay. And... There it is. Extra stamina. Not that we really use it, but that's okay. I think we already have tried to give everything here. The egg rice bowl and the miso... I mean, we haven't tried giving people cooked rice, but I don't imagine that will be anybody's favorite dish, so... Eh. Welcome to the wrapping stall. How can I help you? Uh, let's see... I... Mm, anyway. Red wrapping paper for... The toy flower, and I'm pretty sure Daisy's birthday is the only one coming up this next week. If not, well... Oh well. Stop by and visit again sometime. I shall. Um, nothing we want here. What am I doing? We can't- we can't befriend the lucky lotto lady. If only we could, and that she- and that would give us better luck. First- first one- first place prize! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Somebody here is granting us incredible luck. And I thank you for it. My goodness. Oh, well. I mean, not everyone can win, even with incredible luck. So. <laughs> I mean, we started out strong with the olive oil. And then, you know... Pretty moderately strong with the honey. And then three bricks in a row. Okay. But we got the magic water, that's what matters. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune red? It's just 100G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? You are very close to reaching your goal. Don't give up now. So did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back anytime. Which goal? I have, like, so many, though. All right, we got the we got the names. Let's see the animals. No, there we go. I think there's only one baby silky and one baby Suffolk. That's what it looks like. You want to name him? Uh, so this is a silky and Lunala. Is Lunala okay? Yes. Thanks, take good care of him. And then... The... Suffolk. 
And this will be Sylve for Sylveon. Now you may have noticed, oops, you may have noticed a bit of a dilemma. I mean, we've got, we've got nine sheep and that's one Eevee and eight Eeveelutions and that's all of the Eeveelutions. So what could we possibly name the final sheep? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Welcome to my cafe. Is that? I don't have party cake. I don't have the recipe for party cake. Okay. Well, we'll have a party cake for ourselves. All right. Um, welcome to a food stall. Egg tart. Oh. Oof. Herb sandwich. Okay, we'll get um, we'll get enough of these. Oh, I was gonna look up how many we actually need. Um, we'll get 19 just to be sure. And 19 egg tarts. Oof. Oof. You know how I feel about custard. Custard is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I see. Please come back later then. Let's go ahead and have a party cake for our snack. With some tea. Nice, nice big sip of tea. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre result! Our top three earners in third place with 138,000 G! Wilbur, congratulations! In second place with 160,000 G! Lloyd Store, congratulations! You would have gotten first if you had sold gold. I guarantee you. Please do that next week, Lloyd. And in first place with 315,840 G! Ray, congratulations! Ray, you came in first. I'd like my husband to work as hard as you do. Oh, jeez. You're so harsh. I can't do that. I'm sorry. And the person with the happiest customers was... Lloyd, the customer said your service was top-notch. Mmm... It's because of that one answer to Pierre. <gasps> you old and the down proud! Keep up the good work! Well, being in the top three, Ray will receive a token of thanks! A coffee beans! I hope you like it! For well, gold to be the best bazaar in the world, we are making real progress! This is great news! I'm counting on you all to keep it up! Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see how our strawberries are. Four and a half stars, but um, we should get at least one more strawberry harvest in before the end of the month. So I am hoping that that last strawberry harvest will be with a five-star crop. Five-star strawberries. Good afternoon, Ray. You look well. Why, thank you. That's very kind. Hi there, Ray. <laughs> oh, Ray. How's it going? What's in here? Wow, a birthday present. Thank you. You are very welcome. Daisy is so adorable. Thanks. I'll take it. Mm. Does nobody like egg custard as much as I do? I love I love egg custard. And egg tarts and that sort of stuff. Although, you know, I tend to leave out the tart part when I make my egg custard, but that's aside from the point. I still love an egg tart. They're just so good. It's like ay ay ay. I like potato salad. Nobody in town likes potato salad. I like Wow, this is just me. What? 
How is it mean? Egg tarts are wonderful. Why? I see this egg tart, I'm like, oh yeah, everybody's gonna love this. And no, no. Just, and the same thing with potato salad. I'm like, oh yeah, everybody's gonna love the potato salad. And it's like, no, no. With, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on in this world anymore. What kind of world do we live in where people don't like egg tarts? Listen, I understand if eggs cause you problems, all right? My dad had issues eating eggs. They would make him sick. That's fine. But come on, man. He was very tempted to eat eggs, even though they made him sick, because they are delicious. Specifically, egg custards are delicious. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Just take the egg... Egg custard tart and enjoy it. Oh, Ray. Hello. Oh, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper, thanks. Thank you, Marion, for being one of the few sane people here in Zephyr Town, both for the... For the potato salad and the egg tart. Goodness. Welcome to Zava Cafe. Green yeez. Alright. And then. We eat. We eat the pudding. Which is actually kind of a custard, depending on how you make it. Mmm, delicious. Actually, the way it's made, the way uh, the recipe is in Grand Bazaar, it is a custard pudding is. Um, but of course, it can be made with cornstarch instead, and then it's not a custard. Thank you. How thoughtful. Hey, another thing that Claude likes. Claude only ever seems to like things that, like, 90% of Zephyr Town hates. Or just is neutral to. Well, I just remembered that I forgot to trigger the Isaac's Diet random event again. And I am sorry about that, but... Unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait for a couple episodes from now. Next episode will be the Tea Festival, but like I said, that's gonna have to wait for next episode. This episode, I will have to say that I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.